Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with creating the invoice page. Actually, we've created the invoice page, but in this one, we're going to go ahead and display the data that the user just or that or the items that he just or that we're going to be displaying it in the invoice and we're going to be able to download the invoice to our local pc and save it maybe on the cloud or somewhere and it's going to be in the pdf file so you want to see my videos like this to make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and also you want to get the templates to follow along with the tutorial check out the link in the description below and without any further ado let's go ahead and get started now the first thing that you could see over here is that we need to create an invoice page and get all the recently ordered product so we've been doing this extensively from other tutorials so this one is not going to take time it's going to be pretty easy we've been doing this over and over again if you want you could go ahead and copy this but i'm not going to copy it i'm going to you know do it so you guys will see everything so now we need to create the view which we already have now in the views.py it's going to be this view over here this payment completed view okay so um what we simply want to do over here is go ahead and pass in the session so cut total amount for product id cut total amount that's what we're going to be passing in which is this one over here so i'm simply going to grab this and um actually from the from the last video that we worked on i think we could go ahead and mm, i think we, we could comment this out from, from here yeah we don't need it any longer so um let's see over here we need to just bring that back and um i think that should be it everything should be should be working fine from there okay so when we've copied that we just want to come over here and paste it okay and uncomment it okay so uh, the one at the top is is already uncommented so i'm gonna just uncomment all those other ones and we want to make sure that all this is actually looking great so this should be back there and this should be over here cool so that's pretty much what we want to do and also we want to pass in this template thing we've been doing this throughout this tutorial i'm going to pass this in one more time and as you can see we're already coming to an end with the cut session thing we're going to go ahead and start working with dashboard now and blocks and other things okay so i'm going to get rid of this payment completed html that says everything looks pretty cool now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back here and I wanna get back to the, so when we've done this, we simply wanna navigate to the to the completed page. So I'm gonna say payments completed, that's what we're looking for right now. And as you can see, this is what we've got over here, this dummy data. So what I'm gonna do is fill all this in with my own data, okay? So I'm gonna get back here and I just wanna get rid of all this table rows. So select one of these table rows and um, let's delete every other table row i think should be four five six it's actually a lot one two three okay okay we were actually cutting into the grand total and all these other things over here which we don't need to get rid of we just need to get rid of this one two three one two uh and actually this one also so let's refresh this this is what we got right now and we need to get rid of one of this also I need to look for the all nature blah 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 meets ball thing. I think there is a problem with this. So we, let's get rid of everything over here. Let's refresh. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Now I need to go ahead and start running the for loop. And how do we do that? I'm just gonna get back over here and I'm gonna look for this. I could just copy this one over here from the checkout and I'm, I'm gonna paste it over here because we still have the, the product that we just ordered in our session. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And if you have any better way of doing this, just drop a comment and comment below and you could take a code and you know play around with it and fix it if you have a better way to do this okay so for this one now we don't have any school i'm gonna get rid of that and for this i'm simply gonna say item dot title and this is the price right yeah that's the price so i'm gonna say item dot price this one is the quantity so i'm gonna say item dot qty and this is the total so i'm gonna say um item dot price okay okay i think there's gonna be a collision you know what we what we could do is simply go ahead and get you know the this checkout this thing that we'll be doing over here yeah we could just go ahead and still do the same thing okay and everything should work fine so i'm gonna copy that and um over here i'm, I'm gonna get rid of all this and I'm, I'm simply just gonna paste it down there and this is it okay so now with all this and um we could go ahead and okay I, I just think i think that should be it let's go ahead and, and fix all this total things subtotal tax um this one should be cut 
total amount let's refresh this yet two two fifty one is that correct yeah that's correct actually and um also we need to get the this one over here and if there is any tax you can go ahead and uncomment this and you know work on it but for now we don't have any tax we just have sub total and grand total and we need the total amount also so this is for um i could just say request re re request dot user pipe title let's refresh yeah that's it i'm gonna get rid of the swift code and also i'm gonna get rid of that and um for the grand total what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get over here i'm gonna paste that in and refresh so that's it now we could say something like thanks for your patronage or something you know you just down here we could say thanks for your patronage hopefully that's right spelling of patronage or we could say thanks for shopping with us thanks for shopping at then we could call the name of our company nest Mart or whatever okay thanks for shopping at nest Mart. okay that's great i'm gonna get rid of this note i could say hey destiny hey request dot user pipe title hey destiny thanks for shopping at nest Mart. so it's gonna call whoever is with the logged in user and it's gonna say thanks for shopping at nest Mart. okay so yeah i think that's pretty much it's now I think we are done let's go ahead and see if the download works hopefully you've loaded up the the javascript over there you want to make sure that you loaded this up and um just like this everything should work the javascript is already there for y'all so i'm gonna refresh this and um we should go ahead and download okay it's downloaded i'm gonna open this up okay what do you notice it's got it for us perfectly well and i think that's gonna be it everything is working perfectly well as you can see it gets the invoice the total amount tax included all the items that we ordered and um yeah and it says hey destiny thanks for shopping on next month so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new and hopefully it's working for you but if there's any problem drop a comment in the comment section below and i'll try my possible best to help you out that's gonna be it for this video make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me and on to the next video mad love peace out